the amount of information available today is, is uh, we're awash, awash in information. Uh, the problem today is not getting enough information. The problem is how to integrate it and understand it and connect it um, and give it a context. And um, so uh, that's a whole different skill set than, you know, say in the, when I was young, um, where um, things weren't so easily available. I mean, even, even here at NASA in the 1980s, uh, Landsat data was not generally available. It was only available to NASA scientists or scientists who could afford it. And it wasn't cheap to get that. Now, uh, all the Landsat data is put into Google Earth quite quickly, and people have that worldwide for free, um, which I th think has is, is been a great benefit of uh, the U.S. policy on free and open data exchange. So having that data is wonderful, but just Landsat and Google Earth by itself doesn't help you understand how things are interconnecting. You need all those layers that go with it. Uh, where are the people? What's it like at night? Um, what are the different species in the different part of the planet? How are they moving? How are they migrating? Google, Google Earth is going to have to bring in the time dimension a lot better than it has up to now. It, we've got the space dimension. We can zoom in and out. But I can't easily move the time slider in Google Earth. That's got to change. Um, so just one example. It's hard to forecast these kind of changes. There'll be surprises.